Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another unboxing. For those of you who watch my channel and uh, like the writing instruments, I must advise you, this unboxing contains only chess related stuff. So for those of you who like chess, maybe you will find this unboxing interesting, but for those of you who expect writing instruments or fountain pens or other uh, ephemeria related to the fountain pens world where well, i'm sorry but this pack contains only only beautiful beautiful chess pieces and chess related stuff you will see about it so first of all i paid for it 300 lace or the equivalent of 60.80 euros or 61.74 american dollars so including their value and their shipping cost i'm sorry i've put this one dollar plate here because uh, the, uh, it has uh, the address on this side so i will take my scissors and try to remove the address before i can attempt to open uh, this pack so wait for a second guys i will be as fast as i can okay i will try to remove only the address from here like this and like this guys now i can take it off yes i've managed to remove the address so let me place this dollar bill here and let me see how i can open it as fast as i can for you guys maybe it, it maybe i needed a little cutter but i don't have a cutter in my office so i will try to use those scissors yes and i will use them like a cutter i hope i don't cut myself okay like this and this okay guys let me see now Okay, one and the other. I'm sorry it takes so long, guys, but uh, it is a large, large box, and I want to preserve it as if I can. Maybe I will reuse it. So let me see. Okay. I almost got it okay guys I've managed to open it it has a little bit another part here okay let me see let me see what I have in here whoa nice 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 it is uh, quite quite well wrapped so i have to take my hand and i hope i can well i will ruin a part of it i'm sorry it fell this beautiful beautiful thing i don't know how to open it guys let me see i have a okay let me take the content out first and uh, then i will see so this is a little box i will put it right over here another box you will see i will put it here those are some uh, materials okay those are this is a little bag containing other pieces i believe this is a large chessboard box a wooden box and yes and i have another box here let me put this here like over there and i have another box here guys and this is the content of the bag. sorry about that okay let me start with this large large box an interesting box and uh, probably it was sponsored by a grand chess master karpov it appears to be 
made in uh, Germany. I'm not so good at German. So this is the game. It's an electronic game. Der Computer kommentiert die Spiel. Probably it comes in German. I'm not so sure. But I did not pay a large sum of uh, money for this game. So I paid... Uh, Yes, it is made in China, but it is made for, for a München-based German firm. And uh, I did not pay a large sum of money for it. I paid only 50 lace, or the equivalent of 10.13 euros, or 10.29 American dollars. I'm quite curious to see how uh, it looks. And, um, of course, if it has all the pieces, all the 32 chess pieces... Uh, let me open it and take it out gently, gently and easy. I hope I can do it. Yes, guys. Whoa. I believe it's quite, quite in a new state. I don't know if someone played with it. So I have here the warranty, guys. Warranty, unfortunately, only in German, but I will use the Google Translate to see. And a nice leaflet or a book. Let me see. So it has here Karpov. Whoa, quite, quite nice. This is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and... Um, some instructions for the Millennium game and I believe that those are the chess pieces here so this is the game it, uh, it's remarkable guys as you can see not used I believe it um, uses some uh, yes some uh, AA batteries 1, 2, 3, 4 the batteries were not included, but I think I have some batteries in uh, uh, the house. Of course, this episode will be followed by another review of this interesting game. I'm not so sure it is available on YouTube, but uh, maybe after I translate these German words here, I can do a little review. And let me see the chess pieces, because... I'm sure you are curious as I am. And let me see if I can put them on uh, this. So, oh, nice. And I think they are uh, magnetic or something like that. So, this is the knight, the pawn, another white knight. So, probably I have them all here. The bishop. Let me see another knight. Quite, quite nice. Okay, I will put them all on the table, but um, I will move uh, forward. Uh, this is the rook. Another pawn. This probably is uh, the queen and the white queen. And another white pawn, another black pawn. Yes, they are definitely metallic. This is the bishop, the white bishop. This is the king. The king is usually larger than the queen and it has this cross on uh, it. And the white one another pawn. I'm just checking if uh, I have all the pieces. Yes. This is another pawn. I'm quite curious if um, I can play with it. Let me put uh, let me put them like this guys because I want to show them all. So this is the sorry. This is the white king. Okay, okay, the pawns starting with this one, this one, this one, and uh, I think they are all the pieces. Yes, this is right over here, 
right over here, right over here, and the last piece is this here, and this here. Well, a wonderful Millennium chess set. I believe, by judging by its state, it is uh, an NOS. So somebody bought it and never played with it. Quite, quite a nice, nice looking uh, electronic chess with uh, a nice, nice uh, book by a chess master, a Russian chess master. And uh, maybe I will do a review of it on my channel. So let me take this aside, guys. I will put it right over here. And next, I have uh, this chess board. It's quite interesting. I know it was made in Romania and probably it was made for the export market. This is the reason that I paid uh, quite a large sum of money. I paid 200 lace or the equivalent of 40.53 euros or 41.16 American dollars. And I told you it was made for the export market. And I have a little sticker here. Let me see. So written on it we have... Shach... Uh, or no, sorry. Made in Romania. So judging by this sticker, I think it was made for the export market. During communist times, guys some well well uh, built products were uh, made for the export market and uh, they were of high high quality usually better quality than those available on the internal market let me see so we have some um, interesting openings here it shows that this is an old old chess set and uh, these are the pieces and um, let me show you the king it is uh, larger than the queen or uh, it has a little uh, the length of it is uh, so this is uh, the t a tallest piece the king is tallest from the queen let me show you the bishop quite nice um, painted here not all of them have the protective sleeve so this lacks the, that protective sleeve but uh, no problem and uh, this is the knight this is the rook so those that was the bishop and those are the pawns so i will simply uh, look is to and count them if they are all one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they are all 32 pieces. And um, I like this set. I was expecting uh, the pieces to be a little larger, but it is okay for me. So another wonderful, wonderful set. And I'm not so sure what we have here. Let me see. Whoa, I wasn't expecting this. So this is a little gift. You can see those old, old pieces. And uh, this, I believe, it's quite an old German set. Let me see. Whoa, quite, quite nice. So this, guys, was Leipzig. You can see Leipzig. And um, this was a gift from uh, the seller, Gundi. I'm not so sure how old it is, but judging on these old characters, maybe from the Second World War, I don't know. Quite, quite, uh, and you can see the box is quite uh, old. Quite, quite old. And another one right over here. And this is as uh, wonderful as uh, the other. Uh, quite, quite nice. So I think that those were gifts because I didn't uh, buy them. I think the seller including, uh, included those beautiful, beautiful uh, pieces because I bought so many items. But guys, here 
it is something that I've searched a long, long time. So probably if you watch my channel, you know that uh, recently I bought some um, nice, nice looking pieces. It was that episode where when uh, I did the unboxing and it was also that beautiful, beautiful JFK magazine from the 1960s, guys. And I've managed to find the same uh, pieces, but not the metallic version, but uh, their equivalent in plastic. So, uh, let me show you the uh, other pieces parts i must uh, make room for them because they are quite uh, heavy and you will see what i'm talking about and i will compare them with this set but first guys let me tell you what i paid for this uh, set well uh, this set cost me 30 lace or 6.08 euros or 6.17 american dollars and let me show you the old set. So these guys, what you see on the screen, are the wonderful, wonderful pieces of chess. And they are quite heavy. They are made out of iron. So definitely, definitely heavy. So I will put them here. And what I bought in this lot are the equivalent pieces but this time made in plastic so you can see this is the white king the same uh, details probably this is uh, more detailed than the other uh, but um, you can see what i'm talking about so on this set you probably can see this is um, broken and it lacks another white pawn and a white black pawn and um, this set you can see plastic but here it has a base of metal it was corroded in time so this is the you probably can see they are affected the pieces made out of plastic but those iron ones are in perfect perfect shape why did i buy this set guys to replace those two pawns and the black pawn so i got them all and i believe uh, there's one piece missing and i will take them all and i will see what piece is missing so those are the rooks and let me place them like this so uh, the same way that i placed the other ones over there so this is the king and this is the uh, bishop and let me see what i have here let me open it because it's uh, it's quite well wrapped okay guys now i will move on so another white bishop this is the knight the white knight this is a pawn and i will put it here so you can see basically the same dimensions this is the black one this is the black king quite nice and now i have the white pawns let me take the this further away to see them all so this here this here this here this here man this here of course this this and this and this here and this over here okay the pawn here i have another knight a white knight here a pawn right here guys and the other pawns one two three and i have another black one over here i have another white one over here and a black one over here this is the 
rook. Okay. Another white pawn over here. A black pawn over here. I believe it uh, it lacks a black pawn, but I'm not so sure. This is the knight, and this is the pawn in front of him. Okay, let me see. We don't have many pieces. This is the white queen. Another black pawn in front of the king. And a white pawn in front of the queen right over here. And this is the white rook. So all the black, uh, all the white pieces are here. And here is the knight and the bishop. So only the black pieces, they miss one little pawn. So this was my great, great chess unboxing, guys. This is the wonderful, wonderful pieces. I think I did all right paying around 60 euros or 61 American dollars. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, my chess friends out there. And um, if you like this episode and you want to see other nice vintage chess pieces being reviewed or unboxed, or if you are just here for the beautiful, beautiful writing instruments, thank you. Just subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again with another interesting episode. Till then, bye bye and God bless you all my friends.